Hello everybody and welcome to hole number one, part four of the Eagle Peak in Pro and Expert Division of the Fall Major Tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, visit golfclashtommy.com. On the right hand side of the game screen, you will be able to see elevation adjustment for the drive, then elevation adjustment for the second shot. Then underneath that you will see what type of ball I think is going to be the ones to use on this hole combined with what clubs I do believe is going to be the key clubs on hole 1 here. And obviously if you do have any questions let me know in the comment section below. And you're gonna see two versions on for hole 1. And first we're going to start by going straight down the middle 20% extra. Stay with a power 3 ball, stay with the titan, give yourself room with the power 3 instead of going with power 2. So I'm glad that I did change my mind to go with a power 3 ball. Max topspin, I'm also using um, you know, all from 1 to max side spin to the right depending on if I have a tendency to hit great left or you know if I hit great right. We just want to get it down there, roll as far as possible. And then we're going to have an open shot towards the pin with our long iron. And here we do need backspin. So here we do have the Goliath, we do have the Saturn. And the most important part is that we do need a minimum five and a half bar backspin. If we do not have that, this shot is going to be a bit more tricky as you're going to have to adjust very close to the rough. Obviously you can use the back end of the green, but I'm going to show you that in the next example. Uh, in the way in in one way where we can use that in a very good situation 10% extra for the second shot so we're not gonna add more than that but very important that we do add and once we do add we play downhill and the ball is then going to be affected by the wind so if we are going to use a more not maybe a conservative approach but at least we're going to stay away from overpower I'm using a driver that gives me distance, which is in this case is the extra mile. And the extra mile here, I'm just going to adjust for a maximum distance plus 20%, no spin whatsoever. And the ball now is going to bounce on the fairway and get down towards the bunker, look here. But it's so much uphill there that the ball is just gonna stop and it's gonna fall down. And this is going to make it for you to be a very, very consistent drive for you to take because you're gonna end up in approximately the same place all the time and that is super valuable when you're playing in a tournament as then you can dial it in from distance and for those of you that has been playing this type of way before wonder where it not maybe wonder but they know or you know where I'm going with this but for those of you that kind of think like hmm why do I lay up that short it's because I'm going to use the funnel that we do have on the back end of the green here and therefore I want to play with my sniper which gives me a very good ball guideline and then I can attack the pin in a slight different way. You're also gonna notice that my shot ain't going to go as planned because I under adjust my shot but I wanted you at least to have a look at the ball guideline having a look at the position that we're getting for, lay, uh, for laying up like we're doing there. Elevation for the second shot is 10%, so we do need to add here as well. And you can see here, the thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm going to use max backspin in the end. And I'm going to give myself, if you look at the ball guideline, just pay attention to the ball guideline here. Max backspin, and then I go back, look here. We do have a ball guideline that will take us to the pin uh, if we just could hit the green. That's the problem. But I'm a little bit too high here. I would like to have the first bounce on the fairway before the green after analyzing this one a little bit more. But it's still going to be the, tri the same trick. Because the thing is, what happens here now, when I adjust so far up, is that when I under adjust now, even though with a little tailwind, I'm gonna go too long. The ball is not gonna t get the time to stop and gonna be on the fringe. Still going to be a very easy birdie though, but we do want more. But hopefully with the second example, you at least like got where I was trying to go in, in the way that I show you there with the ball guideline and everything. So 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Hole of One, the part 4 of the Eagle Peak in the Fall Major Tournament. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to patreon.com slash goldclashtommy for the text guides. Uh, in the end, video sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic. Good luck.